feel like it because she has a life. If I would have asked you, you just would have said no. Not necessarily. However, this time I would have. Because Jason's a tragic hero whose life invites unexpected danger. Yeah, well, that too. But what I want to talk to you about is how I didn't appreciate the two of you conspiring to try to throw me and Mac together. But you belong together, Mahon. Just give it a chance. Girls, I'm sorry, but this is not going to happen. So you're saying that you haven't had a good time with Mac, like, every time you guys have hung out so far? And I never said that. You don't think Mac is handsome? I think Max is a very nice-looking guy. So you admit there's an attraction? The Not that kind, Molly. We asked Sam what she thought, and she agreed with us. You could have asked Sam anything. She would have told you anything you wanted you because she wanted you out of the house because she obviously had plans with Jason. Which, if you think about it, is actually a very textbook example of romantic symmetry. Sam and Jason lost each other, found each other again, and are now more in love than ever. Really? What textbooks are you reading now, my love? That jacket is not going to be warm enough. Okay. Sam's a lot happier now. Yeah, Mom. Why wouldn't you want something like that for yourself? Oh, my God. Good party. Thanks for bringing my son home. I can promise you... Will not happen again. Can I walk you out? Sure. Thank you for bringing Michael home. Yes, not a problem. What happened? One of our officers pulled him over for driving erratically. He suspected that Michael had been drinking, so we asked him to take a breathalyzer test. But Michael refused, so I stepped in and took over. Oh, thank God you were there. Was he arrested? No. We didn't arrest him. I took over for the other officer and decided it would be best if I just brought him back home. This time, anyway. But it's not going to go on his record. Thank you. Carly, I know you know this, but drunk driving is a pretty serious offense. I mean, BJ died because of a drunk driver. Jason's a mob enforcer because of a drunk driver. You might want to remind Michael of that, okay? The only reason I'm looking the other way on this is because I've been where he's at. Or at least close enough. Sorry about the whole thing. I just hope you guys have a good night, okay? I'm really sorry, Michael. Call me later if you want to talk. Happy birthday. Thanks. Hang in there, buddy. Yeah, you're going to be all right. Keep your chin up. Everybody makes mistakes. Celebrate your birthday later, man. I need you to go upstairs. Let the adults handle this. I will. Just a minute. Hey. Happy birthday. I got you a cold present. Not so fast, girls. Come on back here. We're going to talk about what happened tonight. There's an important lesson to be learned here, all right? Thank you. Have a seat. I just want us to be very clear about the fact that under no circumstances is it ever acceptable to drink and drive, okay? Um, Mom, I think I might be a little bit too... Sit down. No, you aren't, because I was just about to say that you are never under any circumstances to ever, ever get into a car with anyone who's been drinking too much. Okay, yeah, good point. If you find yourself needing a ride and the person has had too much to drink, you don't get in the car, you call somebody else. You call me, preferably. I will always come and I won't ask any questions because I just want you girls home safe. Understood? Don't worry, I already have enough driving drama for a lifetime. But I do feel bad for Michael. I do too. He's having a rough time right now. He's also making some really bad choices. And I think his parents might be making some bad choices too. But what I want is from you both to learn from his mistakes. You need to think 
your actions through very carefully and when you make choices you need to make responsible choices not just for you but for other people because life doesn't always allow you to undo what's been done okay